Hey you! Yeah, you. The year is 2021, and you have a Dreamcast. What do you play? You want to play something new? Well, guess what? A new game just came out. That game is called Xenocider by the company Retro Sumus. Yes, this is an all-new game for 2021, and it will melt your face. Well, not literally, but it is really great, and I think you should check it out. First, we're going to be doing an unboxing of the game, and next we will show you some gameplay. And by we, I mean me, my computer, and my camera. Let's do it to it. And now for the unboxing. Yes, got it right in the mail today from Spain with care to the United States of America. All right, let's go ahead and open this package up and see how it fared. It's got a couple customs labels on it. And let's just see, I got the regular edition, so let's see. Place that over here. Alrighty. Got a little bit of bubble wrap. Let's take that off nice and gently. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. Cool. I throw this on the side there. Alright. Presented by Retrosumus. Alright, perfect. Nice little card there. Thank you for supporting Xenocider. No problem. I've been uh, looking at this project for a long time and I finally pushed the button on the order probably the week before pre-orders ended. So it took me a minute, but I was, I was definitely not an early adopter, but definitely was interested. All right, what else we got here? Looks like maybe a poster. Carefully. Oh, all right. Yeah, that is a really awesome poster. I love the artwork. Very, very extreme and colorful. Hell yeah. Let's put this down here. Okay, and I've got the jewel case right here for Xeno Cider. Again, this is the um, this is a standard edition on the side. Let's see if it will zoom. It won't zoom. There we go. Retrosumus Xenocider 60 FPS shooting action. All right, and on the bottom right, Retrosumus Dreamcast. There we go. Getting too close to the camera there. Look at that artwork. Beautiful. It has the same description on that side. On the back, let's take a look. The first 3D game for the Dreamcast in over 15 years. Let's see, one player, 16 FPS shooting action, two blocks VMU, vibration pack VGA compatible, arcade stick, and twin stick. Uh, I do not have the arcade stick or the twin stick. I believe um, a popular channel that was reviewing it with the twin stick was Retro Fate's channel, so shout out to Retro Fate for that. Um, this is an independent video game, etc., etc. Again, love the artwork. When tough as nails alien cyborg Zara wakes up from her stasis pod, all she can hear is a voice in the back of her head. Choose your weapons wisely. Explore savage worlds and blast your way through entire civilizations in this hectic, unforgiving shooting adventure. You bet I will. Being a big Space Harrier fan, I cannot wait to discover this game. Let's go ahead and open up this. I'm going to play this a little bit later this weekend and attach in some footage for this unboxing slash review. Now let's open it up. All right, got the disc there and got the game manual. Let's see what's behind the disc. Oh yeah, got the little tribute to Space Harrier, which I heard was an unlockable level. There we go. Okay, let's take that game manual out. Take a quick look at the standard edition. Thank you for purchasing Xenocider for Dreamcast and supporting independent games. You have no idea how this project has changed our lives. Yeah, it's... I can only imagine how much 
effort has gone through over the years. All right, and uh, you can definitely um, pause this to read this if you'd like. Uh, I believe I was talking with Carlos before. I believe through their Facebook channel, their Facebook uh, page. <laughs> First stage is a perfectly self-explanatory tutorial. You'll be fine. Last but not least, there's a bunch of achievements in the game for you to unlock. Also, who needs next-gen hardware when Xenocider runs at smooth, sexy 60 FPS, huh? So yeah, it's funny. This was mainly a dedication um, book instead of a manual. So. They are confident that the game itself is very easy to um, to jump into, but of course, tough to master. So, I will be playing that in a little bit. Alright, so for Xenocider, my first impression. Uh, first impression that's not a spoiler at all. If you want to play the game to make your own mind about the features and everything, I'm going to tell you right now. This is a really fun, arcade-like, on-rails shooter that encourages multiple playthroughs and has the gameplay, music, and game modes to back it up. For an indie game in 2021 that came out on the Dreamcast, it's hard to beat the quality that Retro Sumus has produced here. This game is a gem for sure. Okay, now to get to the fun stuff that may potentially have spoilers. It took me to beat the first level to really find out what this game was all about. I was going through the first level all innocent like and getting through the first boss, finally toppling them and defeating the bad guy, right? Well, the game sure told me. Wait, I'm the bad guy? Xenocide? Xenocider. Oh, I get it, I get it. Your whole job is to plow through innocent onslaught of native planet inhabitants and show them how pathetic and puny they are before erasing their homeworld from existence. After that revelation, the game really shows a whole new charm for me. To spin the narrative like that for me made me think for a moment, what am I really doing in this game? Which made it much more compelling over normal, ordinary, shooting, arcade type games. It made me want to continue on and discover what else the game had hidden for me. Granted, this was the first impression, so I won't spoil it at all or get too much into it. Music Synth tunes that really match the space techno themed game. Like any good soundtrack, it really got me amped up to not only play the game, but to revisit levels just to hear the music again, like a true classic Sega game. Controls At first, it took me a couple of deaths to really get the feel of the controls down. I felt like aiming and moving being separated the way they are and adding in a jump feature took me a bit to acclimate, since the first level pulls no punches. But with each death, there's a reward, and you'll start to not only getting used to controls, but the pitfalls of each level as well. I turned on inverted aim and quickly got into the groove. The controls are not bad at all. They actually make perfect sense. It just took me a bit to get acclimated. Gameplay Fun, simple to get into but hard to master. The game rewards multiple playthroughs using an in-game achievement system that rewards you for completing bonus stages and other milestones. 
Each stage has two paths that offer different variety of enemies and environments, which absolutely encourages multiple playthroughs. I thought I was in trouble trying to remember which paths I played and which I didn't, but thankfully the practice mode shows you what you've missed. There are bonus modes you can unlock, including practice, simulation, and Fantasyland bonus game, which you may have guessed is a fun tribute to the arcade legend Space Harrier, one of my personal favorites. Get ready! Things I'm not sure of yet. Story mode is essentially an arcade mode where if you die or run out of lives, you have to start over. Similarly, if you simply quit the game, you don't resume where you left off. You start right from the beginning. I haven't unlocked all the extra game modes yet, but the default story mode doesn't seem to let you resume in the middle of a game, which I found odd for being named story mode. Oh well, just another way the game subverted my initial expectations. Not saying it's good or it's bad. Final thoughts. I haven't spent a ton of time with this one yet, but I can already tell I'll be diving into it more and more, working to unlock every mode, every secret, and I will definitely be replaying this one from time to time after completion. Retrosumus, you have a real gem on your hands here. Your hard work has paid off, and I really cannot wait to see what you do next. I totally recommend this to anyone wanting a new Dreamcast game in 2021 and also want to support an indie development team. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first impressions. I'll see you on the next adventure.